So I suppose the key thing about uh, curriculum design at Lyme Hills is we want learning to be really rich and hands-on and meaningful. We really celebrate the fact that we're a rural school, so there is a lot of learning wrapped up in the context around the school farm. We keep bees, we keep chickens, we keep sheep and cattle. So yesterday we went out to the beehive and we checked for varroa mite and American fowl brood and all the diseases that can go into the beehive to make sure our bees are nice and healthy. What we try and do is focus on the needs and the interests and the abilities and the passions of the children. And we start there for planning these really cool learning progressions for them. So we always try and bring real world problems back to, to our context. And I think in many ways, Lime Hill School is a little bit of a, of a microcosm about how the real world should be. The kids have real democratic voices here. Well, what's happening this afternoon is my science fair project is on changing mindsets. We've been growing locusts at school because we are wanting to see if we can eat them, because we're looking at the protein side of them and how much protein they give you, and we're comparing that to traditional farming methods. Well, today we are going to be going around the school at lunchtime and asking people if they would like to try one. So we've got normal chocolate chippy biscuits, and biscuits made with cricket flour and then we're going to try with deep fried locusts dipped in chocolate and deep fried locusts with garlic salt on them. I don't think anyone will have tried a bug and they probably won't want to try one but I think we could eventually convince them to try one and then I think they would have a different idea of what bugs will be like. Well, I think we have a very high expectation on the kids who come through Lime Hills School. We expect them to work hard, so we give them a lot of encouragement, but we are always looking to set them up for success. So we want them to try things, we want them to make mistakes so that they'll learn, but at the end of the day, we're there to help them succeed. If you had an idea, the teachers would probably let you do it. <laughs> We'd much rather look at what their strengths and weaknesses are and how do we best kind of build on those strengths and, and brush up those weaknesses. And for us, it's very much around key competencies. It's around, you know, real life things like meeting deadlines, working in a team, being on time, showing leadership, uh, communicating, working with different people and being able to speak. You know, we, we really now look at the, the curriculum at the end of the series of lessons or the end of the year and say, oh my God, look how many wonderful things we taught them. We certainly didn't plan to teach them based on what was in the curriculum. Uh, we planned to teach them based around the needs and the interests and the abilities of the kids.